ich pícha, silikon štetky, je tu ešte niekto, kto nemá vadrebky. This is the sound of Slovakia, as performed by Katarzia, whose real name is Katarina Kobožjeva. The 27-year-old singer-songwriter is hugely successful in her home country. Her popularity is boosted by the fact that she sings only in the Slovak language. My brain works better when I try to make poetry in Slovak language. And also it's a, for me, it's a part of a heritage, our language, which, because it's very unique, like it's not used in any other country. And I also very love it. Uh, I love it a lot. She has brought out two albums to date, both to great acclaim from the critics. The Sound of Europe concert series features the best musicians from each country. The group Chelomania are also representing Slovakia. And so is Lyudmila Štafanikova, a jazz vibraphone player who lives in Paris. Four years ago, a magazine in her homeland voted her the most successful Slovak living abroad. The performances are held at the German Finance Ministry and include discussions presided over by Wolfgang Schäuble and chaired by DW's Director General Peter Limburg. This concert series is designed to show the richness of European culture, to show that we're more than just a set of numbers, money or problems. And it actually reminded me of Jean Monnet, one of the founding fathers of the European Union, who said that if he had to start over again, he'd begin with culture and the arts. Michel Palko plays an old Slovak instrument called the fujara, a 1.7-meter flute that was traditionally played by shepherds. The fujara is considered by UNESCO as part of the intangible heritage of humanity. It's very, very typical in Slovakia play, play rosfuk, it's blow, blow out. And so on, so on, so on. Well, it's, it's interesting because probably it's come from uh, Romania. Uh, all shepherd culture uh, in Slovakia comes from, from Romania. Edita Grubarova is an international star and Slovakia's best-known musician. The coloratura soprano is also known as the Slovak Nightingale. She grew up under communism and European unity is very dear to her. I'm not into politics at all, so I'm not very well informed. But if the European Union were to fall apart, just because of economic interests, because of accusations that others are doing such and such, or we don't have this or that, then I think it would be time for us to pull ourselves together and passionately stand by our European identity. Music is an international language that brings people together. The Sound of Europe celebrates the motto of the European Union, united in diversity.